It was 11 years ago when tornadoes broke out for three days across the southeast. The storms peaked on April 27th. It lasted all day. Another scary fact. It's estimated there were around 20 tornadoes on that day. Ringgold, Georgia was hardest hit. Dallas Payton brings us one man's memories of that day. Dallas. Latrice Gregg, more than 300 people were killed that day. Errol Henderson tells me he wasn't sure that he and his family would survive that night, but he's thankful they did. On the evening of April 27, 2011, Earl Henderson was on his couch watching American Idol when the program was suddenly interrupted. There were four major areas hit hardest this evening, including Ringgold. He remembers meteorologists saying a tornado was headed directly towards Ringgold. Like this has ever happened before. Our area has gotten hit harder than ever before. Henderson ran to the door and when he opened it, he could see the tornado clear as day headed his direction. My wife and my son and my daughter and my granddaughter was in the house and I hollered, run! And we all ran into the, uh, there's a bathroom in the hallway there. We all ran into that hallway in that bathroom there. Moments after making their way into the bathroom, the light started to flicker and then everything went dark. All Henderson remembers is loud noises and windows busting out. And it just got quiet. Uh, I opened up the bathroom door and I looked up and I could see the see the sky, you know, and it, so the roof was the roof was ripped off the house. Henderson walked outside to find that everything around his house was destroyed. There was only one thing going through his mind after realizing what had just happened. I was homeless. You know, I'd went to bed, got up that day. It was that evening and little did I know, you know, I'm homeless. Didn't know where I was going to live, didn't know where you know, it, it was it was something I never want to go through again. 11 years later, after the devastating tornado ripped through Ringgold, the town has healed. The community has uh, has bonded together. Uh, no one person made this happen. It was a community effort that put Ringgold back together. The from the leadership that was in the city hall and all that stuff, everybody came together. Henderson suggests that all families have a plan in place just in case they are in a similar situation that he and many others were in 11 years ago. In studio, Dallas Payton, Local 3 News.